Bethune-Cookman University, giving you relevant information, standing on a firm foundation of legacy, accredited academics, aggressive athletics, and the pride of BCU, the Marching Wildcats. You're watching Webcat News. Hi, and welcome to Webcat News. I'm Cecily Wilson. Let's get you plugged into what's hot on the campus of the great Bethune-Cookman University. It's a rite of passage for every BCU student. Graduation day, you gotta love it. Well, the graduating class of 2011 is the largest in the university's history, with 564 students proudly walking across the stage to receive their degree. But not before hearing an inspiring and motivating commencement speech by civil rights activist Reverend Al Sharpton. His message reminding the students that graduation is not the end, but only the beginning. Today, I want to say to the graduates, this is the end of one lap, but the race is not over. You should celebrate. You should weep and smile. You should have a sense of achievement. But know there is a difference between your launch and your landing. This is not your landing. This is your launch. And if you don't plan on a good landing, you will erase the joy of your launch today. Sharpton also received an honorary doctorate of divinity degree from the great Bethune-Cookman University. It's official. He is now Reverend Dr. Al Sharpton, joining the list of other prestigious alumni. And speaking of alums, save the date for the 43rd National Alumni Association Convention, June 16th through the 19th. And what's even more exciting about the convention, it's in the Bahamas at the Nassau Sheridan Beach Resort. So I know you don't want to miss it. For more information, visit the web address on your screen. Well, that's fun in the sun for real, but guess what else is happening? You've heard the phrase, build it and they will come. If you didn't know, dirt is being turned on a new athletic training center. Webcat correspondent Nunera Amen has the story. It's a work in progress, one that comes with much anticipation and excitement. It's going to be a, a big advancement for us, you know, to show uh, progress within our program. Though the BCU championship football team had a great season, finishing with a 10-2 record, despite only having the old training facility, coaches say the new center is well needed. My kids will have a state-of-the-art building to train in, so therefore, you know, they'll be better prepared for Saturday. Well overdue and also well deserving to the athletes that have been here, ones that have paved the way for those that are going to be coming too. As you can see now, the facility is mostly bricks and dirt, but in a few months, it'll be equipped with pools, workout rooms, a hall of fame in the front, and even a corridor that connects to the old facility. And the new facility is also adding some confidence to the players. With this new building coming in, we should be undefeated and have all wins. The Larry R. Hanfield Athletic Training Center is expected to open in late September and will only be available to student athletes. In Daytona Beach, Nunir Amin, Webcat News. Can't wait for the Hanfield Athletic Training Center to open. We'll call it the Hat Center for short. Well, there's also a new addition to BCU's academic lineup. The School of Graduate and Professional Studies is launching the Master of Science degree program in Integrated Environmental Science. The new degree explores environmental topics with a foundation in the natural and physical sciences designed to train students with a hands-on approach to take scientific and social information to make resource management decisions. BCU is on the cutting edge of the field with its new program and one of very few universities in the country offering this type of work. There's a lot of attention being paid to what we put together. In fact, our curriculum was reviewed by upper level people in NOAA and the USDA and USGS specifically to try and be sure that we were meeting the, the needs of this type of individual within the agency world. Ryder says the department has received millions of dollars from outside funding for the program and students are already working across the Gulf Coast. Applications are being accepted for fall 2011. 
Well, finally, before we go, renovation is complete on the home Mary McLeod Bethune once called the Retreat. The residence built in 1915 has been restored to its original state. Now you can walk the halls that Dr. Bethune walked and view her personal belongings, papers, photographs, and furnishings she used when she entertained Eleanor Roosevelt, Langston Hughes, and other history makers. So be sure to plan a visit to this national historic landmark right here on our beautiful campus. Well, now you're plugged in. If you have information you'd like to share, simply email us at webcatnews at cookman.edu. Thanks for watching Webcat News. We'll see you next time.